Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ain't God good? Ain't the Lord good? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being so good to us, God. We appreciate you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want to come before you. Amen. In the spirit, amen, and talk to you a few minutes, amen, about God's unspeakable, about God's unspeakable gift, amen. That's what I want to talk to you about for a few minutes, amen. Listen, I don't want you to start cringing, amen. I don't want your flesh to start drawing, drawing all up, amen, amen, amen. When you start talking about giving, amen. Your flesh, amen. People flesh start drawing up. They they heart heart and stuff start drawing up, amen. Like a lemon or something, amen. But we got to understand that giving is uh, one of the principles of God, amen. And that's what we're gonna talk about a little bit. We're gonna talk about God's unspeakable gift, amen. One thing you got to understand for sure, amen. You got to understand this, amen, that you you cannot, listen, I don't care how much you give, amen. Listen, I you can give everything that you got, amen, in your possession, amen, in your bank account, amen. Uh, listen, I don't care how much assets you got, amen. I don't care how many diamonds you got, how much gold you got, amen, how much jewelry you got, amen. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot beat God giving. Amen. And the reason why you can't beat God giving is because of his unspeakable gift. Amen. <laughs> Listen. Amen. We're going we're gonna to read we're going to read some scriptures. Amen. I ain't going to be before you long, but I got to get you to see, amen, God's unspeakable gift. Amen. And we got to quit being so stingy, amen. Amen, when we see a person in need, we got to be able to extend a, a helping hand, amen. Amen, and be sensitive to the spirit of God, amen. A lot of times God be telling us to help individuals and we don't do it, amen. And we don't do it, we, we, we listen. We don't listen to the spirit of God, amen. A lot of times we, we, look, we look at a person's appearance, amen. Amen. And we don't we don't we don't give to that person like we should. Amen. We got people out there that need clothing. Amen. You got people out there that, that need a meal. Amen. That you pass by every you might pass by a person every so often, amen. That need a meal. Or somebody might even be might even walk up to you, amen, and ask you for something. Amen. Uh, or the Lord might tell you to give a person something. Amen. And you don't do it. And you do and you do not do it. Amen. We got to quit being so stingy. Amen. As people of God. Listen, we we listen, we got so many people out there giving to them false prophets. Amen. They get them, listen, they get them men and women, women of Satan, amen, everything that they want and whatever they need, amen. When they ask for it, amen. Amen. We got to start start giving, amen, when the Holy Spirit is telling us to give, amen. We're going to read some some scriptures, amen. You're going to have to understand, amen. I had to come into a realization. Listen, I, I listen. I can't. you can't beat God giving, amen. God has already given you more than you can ever give out. You hear what I said? I'm going to say that one more time. God has already given you more than you can ever give out. I'm telling you, for as long as you live, I don't care how much you give, God has already given you more than you can ever give out. Listen, and we're going to, listen, we're going to talk about, amen, for a few minutes, amen, this unspeakable gift. God is so good, amen. You cannot, I'm telling you, you cannot be God given, amen. And giving is still, amen, one of the, 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 the principles of God, amen, as people of God, amen, we have to learn how to give, amen. 
Not only do we need to learn how to give, some of us, we need to learn how to receive. Amen. Some of us, amen, we have a problem. Amen. Receiving. Amen. Listen, I don't care how much, I don't care how much money you got. Amen. You st listen, you still need to learn how to receive when somebody want to bless you with something. I see people all the time, somebody is trying to bless them with something. Amen. Just because they're doing all right. Amen. Or that they live in, have living a comfortable life, amen, and they don't really need too much of anything, amen. Listen, because of pride, amen, they're not willing to, to accept a blessing from uh, one of their brothers or their sisters in Christ, amen. Or anybody for that matter, amen. You got to be able to, to give as well as receive, amen. Some of us, we got so much pride, amen. So much pride, amen. You got to learn how to receive, amen. You got to learn how to receive when somebody wants to bless you with something, amen. Because, you know, it, it leaves a, a wrong impression uh, on the individual that's trying to bless you with something, amen. They know you're being stubborn and stiff neck, stiff neck, amen. And know you're full of pride, amen, that you can't accept a blessing from a brother or a sister in Christ or for whomever, amen, for that matter. Amen. God is good, amen, to us all the time. The Lord is good. We got to be able to receive as well as give. I'm going to be reading out of 2 Corinthians. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Amen. God is good, amen. He, listen, he good all the time, amen. Remember, we're going to read uh, starting at verse 6. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. I'm going to read from starting at verse 6 on to the end of the chapter. Amen. It says, we're, but I'm, we're going to break it down uh, probably per verse. Amen. It says, remember this. He who sows sparingly and grudgingly will also reap sparingly and grudgingly. And he who sows generously will also reap generously. Amen. And, and with blessings. Amen. The Bible said, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Amen. So if you, listen, listen, if you if you sow uh, uh, grudgingly, amen, meaning in your heart, amen, you really don't want to give it. Amen. You really don't want to give it. I'm going to tell you, the best, the best thing for you to do is to keep that thing. Amen. If you want to give grudgingly out of your heart to a person, amen. You know, some of us can have some of the nastiest attitudes, amen, when we give something to somebody, amen. Because we, listen, we, listen, and we don't really want to give it to that person. We make faces and, and everything. I, I, listen, it, our whole being and, and, and organs inside of our body just tighten up, amen. <laughs> it just tighten up, amen. We can be some, listen, we can, we can be nasty, amen, sometimes. But we got to learn how to give generously, learn how to give because uh, uh, God, you got to understand, God is looking at your heart. Amen. He's looking at your heart more than he's looking at what you're giving. Amen. You got to understand that. So, you know, if you're going to give grudgingly, you might as well go ahead on and keep what you're giving. Amen. Might as well go ahead and keep it. Let's go ahead and read verse 7 now. It says, Let each one give as he has made up in his own mind and purpose in his own heart. See, look, don't let nobody persuade you to give more, amen, than what's already in your heart to give <laughs> to a person, huh? Even in a full wall church, huh? Don't let nobody persuade, because a lot of times they want to persuade. They, they'll persuade you to give more than you want to give. But you got to remember that God is looking at your heart, amen, huh? God is already looking at what you have purpose in your heart to give. Huh? So make sure you're not being persuaded to give something, amen, that you don't want to give. Because you're going to end up giving that thing grudgingly, amen. And it's going to mess up your harvest. Listen, it's going to mess up your harvest. Huh? Because God is looking at how you're giving. Amen. Let's read, that. Let's read that again. It says, let each one, as he has made up in his own mind, in his own mind, listen, not in your spouse's mind, huh? Or in your children's mind, or in your neighbor's mind, but what, what you have made up in your own mind and purpose in your own heart, not reluctantly or sorrowfully under compulsion. For God loves, huh? 
For God loves a cheerful giver. Huh? See, when God, listen, when you give, amen, God wants you to be, he wants you to be cheerful in your heart. Amen. He wants you to want, amen, to give. Amen. He don't want nobody to push you or persuade you or to knock you over the head. Huh? To be able to give to somebody. God wants you to give because that's what you love to do. Amen. That's what you love to do. Huh? When you find out how much God has given to you, you listen, listen. When you find out how much God has given to you, you're not going to have a problem giving. Amen. To somebody. Amen. That you see on the street. Amen. Huh? Or, or, or to somebody in your household. Amen. Listen, when the spirit of God is telling you to give. Amen. Listen, don't don't tighten up. Huh? Don't tighten up. Give like God has directed us to give according to the scriptures. Amen. That's what we got to do. Amen. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's look at verse. Let's look at verse eight. <laughs> this is good. I like this. Amen. It says, and God is able to make all grace. Huh? And God is able to, is able to make all grace come to you in abundance. So, so that you may always have in and under all circumstances, whatever the need may be, huh, enough to require no aid or support or furnish in abundance for every good work. See, God gonna make listen, if you do, if you do, do it the way that the scriptures say do it. Amen. Don't let nobody force you. Don't let nobody persuade you and make sure your motive is right. Your intentions are right. Your heart is right. Amen. Listen, and you, you're cheerful. Amen. Huh? You want to do it. You, you're happy to do it. You're glad to do it. Amen. God is going to make sure that you have the resources. Amen. To continue to bless. Amen. So furthermore, God is going to use you as a conduit. Amen. But listen, if your heart is stopped up, huh? If your heart is stopped, is stopped, is stopped up with reluctancy, huh? And if it's stopped up, if you're grudgingly doing it, then you're stopped up. Then God is not going to be able to use you as a conduit, huh? This is how God is able to get more resources over to you, amen, huh? See, because God is putting things in your hand, amen, so that you can help somebody else. That's one of the things we got to quit. We, listen, we got to quit being so stingy. Amen. Because God is blessing you and he's blessing me. Amen. To be able to help somebody else. Huh? Everybody, listen, everybody don't want your money. Huh? Everybody don't want your money. Huh? See, sometimes it's not even about money. Amen. Spend some time with somebody that need time, that somebody that need time uh, to be spent with. Amen. Huh? Use some of your talents and, and some of your gifts. Amen. To help somebody else. Amen. You might have something in your house that somebody else might need. Amen. That you really don't need. Huh? We got, look, we got, we got, we got shoes and all kinds of stuff stacked up to the ceiling. Amen. That somebody can, can probably use. Amen. Huh? You could, you could carry uh, two or three pair of shoes in, in your car. Amen. You see somebody that might need a pair of shoes. Amen. You can offer it. It to them. You'll be surprised who, who you run into, amen, that can wear them shoes and that need to wear them and that need them shoes. Huh? We got so much, listen, we got so much junk piled up, amen, in our closets and, and, and everywhere, all in the attic and in the garage, amen. We Listen, we don't even need that stuff, amen. God has put something in your hand, amen, and, and listen, you just holding on to it, huh? You just holding on to it. God is want, want want to use us as conduits, amen, to bless somebody else, amen, huh? See, when God puts something in your hand, it's, it's not always for you to hold on to it, huh? Huh? Listen, when God puts something in your hand, it's not for you to always hold, hold on to it for yourself, huh? When God puts something in your hand, it's not necessarily for you, it's for somebody else. Huh? But God is if you do what God tell you to do, what the Spirit of God tell you to do with the things that He He gives you, Amen. Huh? With the resources that He's given you, Amen. Then God can continue to to run His blessings through you as a conduit. Huh? Amen. Amen. This this is good. This is some good stuff. I like this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Let's let's look at verse nine. It says, "As it is written." He, 
He scatters abroad. As it is written, he scatters abroad. He gives to the poor. His deeds of justice and goodness and kindness and benevolence will go on and endure forever. Verse 10 says, And God who provides seed for the sower and bread for eating will also multiply your resources, sowing and increase the fruits of your righteousness, huh? which, which manifests itself in active goodness and kindness and charity. Huh? And God who provides seed for the sower. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you ain't no sower, then God ain't going to give you no seed. Huh? Listen to what I said. That's what not, I ain't said. That's what the scriptures say. Huh? It said he provides seed for the sower. If you ain't no sower, then that's probably why you, ain't, you don't have no seed. Because you don't sow. You sting it. You don't like to sow into people's lives. Amen. You don't like to help your neighbor. Huh? That's probably why you don't have no seed to sow to sow into other in, other individuals' lives. It's because you haven't learned you haven't learned to bless people with, with what you already have, Amen. So God can begin to flow His blessings into your life, so you can begin to bless somebody else, Amen. You got to listen to the Spirit of God, Amen. And you you got to know what you already got, what God has already listened. I, I told you a while ago, God. You ain't going to be able to outgive God. Amen. Huh? You're not going to be able to outgive God. Huh? You, listen, you, you ain't going to be able to outgive the Most High. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, let's look at verse. Let's see what we got here. Yes. See? Listen. You're going to have to learn how to be a sower. Amen. We all need to learn how to be sores. Amen. It said, thus, let's look at verse 11. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 11 now. It says, thus, you will be enriched in all things and in every way, so that you can be generous and administer, and administer by us will bring forth thanksgiving to God. Let's look at this. Let's look at that verse again. Thus, you will be enriched in all things and in every way, so that you can be generous in your, gener in your generosity as it is administered by us would bring forth thanksgiving to God. See, listen, because of what you because because you are sore, amen, and you're using the seed that God has has blessed you with, amen. Listen, the people are gonna begin to praise God and, and, and give God thanks, amen, for what you did. Not give you thanks, but they're gonna look to the most high, amen. They're gonna look to the Father, huh? And thank the Father because what you did. Amen. So you got to you, you got to look at it like that. Listen, when you bless somebody that's in need and they need it, amen, and you bless them, they're going to thank the Father. Huh? They're going to look up to the Most High and they're going to bless the Father. They're going to give praise to the Most High because you was obedient to God. Huh? The seed that God gave you, you sowed it into that person's life. And listen, that's going to that's gonna make that person praise God. Amen. And give thanks to God. Huh? You see that? That's good. That's good. So you got to see that. Whenever, when every time you give to somebody, listen, they're going to turn. Amen. If Even if they don't do it in front of you. Huh? They might end up praising God right after you turn. Huh? Right after you turn your back from them. Amen. Or they might end up praising God right there in front of you. Amen. Thanking God. Huh? Just because of what you did. Just because of what you get, what you did. I'm, I'm telling you. We're going to get to this, listen, the unspeakable gift. Amen. In a few minutes. Amen. We're getting there. Verse 12 says, For the service that the ministering of this fund renders does not only supply what is lacking to the saints, God's people, but it also overflows in many cries of thanksgiving. Huh? Many cries. See, see, see I believe this was the church of Macedonia. They was getting ready to make a, a, a offering, amen, to the church, to the saints in Jerusalem, amen. They was in need of some things, and, and Paul was taking them an offering, amen, from the church of Macedonia, amen, and, and other churches, amen. But Paul was letting them know, listen, there's going to be many cries that's going to go up to the Father because of, because of what you guys have decided to bless the church in Jerusalem with, amen, the other saints in Jerusalem with. 
because of what you decided to do. Amen. Out of the kindness of your heart. You didn't, hey, they did it willingly. They weren't forced to do it. They didn't do it grudgingly. Or they wasn't reluctant, amen, to give out of uh, the resources that God has blessed them with. Amen. Amen. We got to see that. Let's look at verse 13. Then it says, because at your standing of the test, this ministry, they will glorify God. Listen, they're going to glorify God. For your loyalty and obedience to the gospel of Christ, which you confess. See, listen, that, that, that's part of the gospel. Amen. It's being able to help your neighbor, being able to help the poor. Amen. Huh? God has placed a seed in your hand. Amen. He has given you, you got something. Amen. That you can give. Amen. That you can bless somebody else with. Huh? See, that's going to open up. That's going to open up a con conduit, amen, for God to be able to continue to flow uh, uh, seeds into your life that you may be able to bless somebody somebody else. We got to understand that God is the source. Not what he puts in your hand is the source, amen. Your job is not the source, amen. But God is the source, amen. The Bible says that God is the one that gives us strength, amen, to get wealth. Amen. So listen, we got to understand that God is the source. God is the source. Amen. God is the source. Let's read that verse again. Because at your standing at of the test of this ministry, they will glorify God for your loyalty and obedience to the gospel of Christ, which you confess. Amen. As well as for your generosity uh, uh, to them and to all the needy ones. Amen. Amen. This is listen, this is gonna be a blessing, amen. If we can we can grasp this, amen, and start doing and start doing this. This is what those fake pastors are not doing. Huh? Listen, this is what they're not doing. This is what they're not doing. Listen, if they were listen, they, they got so much money they can come together, amen, and build a whole uh skyscraper type uh building, man, with with, with a kitchen in there and every listen, they if they wanted to do it, they could do that. Huh? But they don't want to do it. They listen. They fill in their own pockets. Amen. They fill in their own. They, they, they hoarding up treasures for themselves. Amen. Listen. If they listen. If they wanted to get the poor off the streets. Amen. In your city and in my city, all of these. All, if they was real men and women of God, all they had, had to do is come together and and make it happen. They make enough. Listen. They make more than enough money. Amen. Huh? They take in more than enough money to do it. Huh? But these, listen, these are the ministers of Satan. They not, listen, they not doing what the words say do. Huh? They not doing, the, they not, listen, they not doing what the gospel, what the gospel say do. They not doing that. They not doing it. They not doing it. Listen, they, they can have clothes and, and, and all kinds of stuff piled up, piled up and, 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 you know, have a certain location in that building. Amen. Where people come and donate clothes. Amen. And food. And they live out of that same that same building. Amen. Huh? They can make a high rise. Listen, listen, they can do it. But they don't, they, they are not, listen, men of God, men and women of God. Huh? They not, they not, that's not what they, that's not what they're here for. They're here to mis mislead and deceive and to keep people blind. Okay, let, let's go ahead on verse 14. Let's look at verse 14 right quick. It said, and they shall, and they, and they yearn for you while they pray for you because of the surpassing measure of God's grace. <clears throat> huh? Listen, these people going to pray. They going to pray for you. Huh? They going to be, listen, sending up prayers for you. Huh? Because of what you did, because of what you did and what you continue to do in their life. Huh? Who don't need prayer? Listen, I need prayer. My family, listen, we need prayer. Pray for me and my family. Pray for me and my family. Pray, listen, and also pray for chosen family. Huh? Pray for his family. Pray for him. Amen. Pray for him. Amen. Be a blessing. Amen. Let's look at, let's look at verse 15 right here. It said, now thanks be to God for his gift. Look at this. Now thanks be to God. Listen, this is Paul talking. He said, now thanks be to God for his gift beyond telling his indescribable 
inexpressible gift. Well, Paul is saying, listen, I know that y'all have given this gift, amen, for the church, for the saints in Jerusalem, huh? But the last thing that Paul said in this verse is, now, thanks be to God for his gift. Listen, if you think, if you think your giving, if you think your gift is something, Paul said, look, look at the, the gift that God has given us, huh? He gave us all, listen, he gave us his son, huh? He gave us the best of, of heaven. You can't put a price on Christ. Listen, you can't put a, a, a price on Christ. Amen. God gave us the best of heaven. Huh? Huh? He said, "Don't listen, don't look at what you gave. Don't look at what you gave. Look at what the most high gave. What the most high gave is more valuable, amen, than what you can ever, ever, ever give to anybody. Huh? You will never, Paul is letting them know, you will never be able to give, out give the most high. But we appreciate what you what you have given to the saints. Amen. Amen. Because they, they need it. But you'll never be, be able to outgive God. He told them, look at what God gave. Huh? You can't beat that. Amen. Be blessed.